YouTube. What's good, guys? It's your boy TD, and I'm back again with another video for Fantasy Good Sports, guys. And today's video is going to be on five boom bust wide receivers that you should be looking to draft in your 2024 redraft leagues and also in your dynasty startup leagues guys so with no further ado make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel this is cutting edge content i said what i said this is cutting edge content so let's begin so guys a lot of you don't like boom bust wide receivers I love boom bust wide receivers. I like some boom bust running backs, but this is not about running backs. This is about wide receivers. So a lot of us don't like wide receivers that may go for eight points, five points, five points, 40 points, 40 points, then five points, five points, five points, right? That's like a game trend. That's what I call quadrants, where guys score how they do every four weeks, right? Because the season is broken down to me in fantasy football to four weeks at a time. So if a guy can give me one 30, 40 point game per four weeks, I'm okay with having the guy because he win you those weeks. You don't win weeks or win fantasy matchups by having a guy give you a consistent 15 points. Best ball and even in redraft leagues. I know best ball, we love those boom bust guys, but I like them in redraft. So guys, I'm going to give you five guys that I believe that can win you a league. And it's okay to draft these guys at their ADP. I said what I said at their ADP. So the first wide receiver that is a boom bust guy that a lot of people are probably going to be disappointed how he played this year, but I'm drafting him on my team at his ADP, which I believe could probably be the third round or the fourth round. I'm still taking him. And it's Jalen Waddle from the Miami Dolphins. I love every wide receiver that's starting for the Miami Dolphins and also the running backs. I love Raheem Mostert. I love Devon A. Chain. I love Tua. I love Waddle. And I especially love Tyreek Hill because those guys can win you weeks by themselves. Tyreek can give you 50 points. You win that week. Jalen Waddle can give you 35 points. You win that week. Of uh, to a boom for you, give you a top five quarterback week, you can win that week. And those guys have the potential to do it, the way this offense flows. So I'm drafting Jello Waddle next year at his ADP. You're not going to sit, ah, he lost me this year because he only had, he had five bad games in a row, but then he had a couple games where he boomed and gave me 40 points, but it didn't help me. Sometimes guys, guys can only give you four good weeks and that'll help you win your fantasy football championship. It could be in the fourth quarter during your fantasy football playoffs, or it could be early in the season to get you a 5-1 record. So either way, I love boom bust guys. Do not uh, disqualify a guy because he's not consistent. Those are the guys that you draft in the first round. Consistent guys. Second round guys, I still need you to be consistent, but not as consistent as a first round guy. In the third round, I'm willing to draft anybody who can give me boom weeks. Just depending on how many booms you can give me. I'm not looking for consistent players at every single round. I'm looking to try to draft guys that potentially could be a league winner or could just give me some boom weeks and win me that week. Moving on to my second guy is Christian Watson from the uh, Green Bay Packers. I love Christian Watson from the Green Bay Packers. And the reason why I love Christian Watson from the Green Bay Packers is because, guys, when he's out there and he's healthy, this guy can win you. I mean, I'm, he, what, did he, what did he do when he was before he had the hamstring injury after he came back from early in the season? This guy had three consecutive weeks where he was a top five wide receiver with Jordan Love. So I, don't just get off Christian Watson because he's not being consistent. This guy could get you into the playoffs or he could win you a fantasy football championship with not being consistent. And if next year, if he doesn't have these injuries, who knows? Sometimes you can draft these guys not to be consistent and they end up being consistent and giving you a top five finish. Moving on to my third guy, DK Metcalf. DK Metcalf might be the safest boom bust guy that it is. He might not give you that 20 or 30 points that you need to boom, but he might give you that eight points, eight points, eight points, eight points, then 35, 35, 8, 8, 8, fantasy football championship, 40. That's all you need. Everybody ain't made the boom every single week. Everybody ain't the number one overall pick, so I'm willing to draft DK Metcalf. Moving on to my second guy is Rasheed Shaheed from the New Orleans Saints. He's another guy. His value is up ticking. And listen, he might even be more cons uh, consistent than he was last year. He might actually be a top 12 wide receiver. I'm not saying he's going to be, but if, if he is, it's good. I'm okay with it. If he don't, I'm okay with that. Either way, I'm drafting you because I want that boom. I'm drafting him over a more consistent guy, like maybe a Tyler Lockett, who's going to give you 12 points almost every week, but not going to give you the boom anymore. 
Now, Tyler Lockett was a, was a time in his day where he would give you that boom. So he was a good player drafting. But I'm okay with drafting Rasheed Shaheed, and he finishes as a, as a top 32 wide receiver, but had probably three of the biggest scoring weeks in fantasy football. That's what I'm looking for. Moving on to my next guy is Drake London. And listen, we know Arthur Smith got fired. So Drake London could turn into a consistent boom guy. But if right now he's just a boom bust guy and I'm willing to I'm willing to take him, even if it costs me a, a pick in the third or fourth round because he won't be there in the next round. I'm willing to take Drake London, especially with a new quarterback coming in town. I like those type of wide receivers because I believe these wide receivers will win your fantasy football championships. All you got to do is go back through your fantasy football playoffs and look at uh, week 16 or week 15, 16 and 17. And you will find a guy in the top five that wasn't there consistently. That one that maybe helped that guy prevail into the next round. You may see what got number six seed beat the number one seed. It wasn't because of his top round draft pick. It was somebody that he picked up off waivers. Darius Slayton helped me win a championship. I picked him up off waivers. He went for 30 points. I'm okay. I love playing boom bust guys. And if they don't boom, I'm okay. I don't care. Just ah, I lost because he only gave me five. No, I know what he was. Right, this is not CMC giving me five points. This is not Tyreek Hill giving me five points. This is not Justin Jefferson. This is a sixth, seventh round player, even Jalen Waddle, a third round, second round player giving me uh seven, eight points. I'm okay with that. That's not the reason why I'm gonna lose. All right, guys, last but not least, this is a bonus guy. Thank you for watching the whole video. Is Zay Flowers. Now listen, Zay Flowers is another kind of safe guy, but he hasn't been consistent all the way out. And I never dropped him you know, throughout this season. But the reason why I didn't drop him because I knew that he was going to have his boom games and guess what happened? He boomed in the playoffs. He had, what, three consecutive 20-point games? So, guys, that's why you get these boom bust guys because their trajectory can change. They can end up being very volatile to a consistent guy and, and balling it down the stretch in your flex. So, guys, make sure you don't fade boom bust guys because these guys could be league winner got league winning guys. So, guys, with no further ado, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. This is cutting edge content. Peace.